In this video, we're going to have a look at how to find openly licensed media, and we're going to use the Creative Commons search facility. So navigate to creativecommons.org, uh, and on the main site, there is no link. You have to manipulate the URL just slightly to get into their search facility. There we go. We've now opened the search facility. The way this search works is it's identified a number of repositories or libraries of openly licensed materials or some sites which have an open license filter and it automatically employs it. So if you look on the left hand side, you can see the CC Mixter for music. We've got Nappy for images. We've got Sketchfab for 3D models, Vimeo for video. Second column, we've got Google Images, which we've already looked at. There's also Open Clipart for Clipart, SoundCloud for music. In the third column, Flickr for photographs, Jamendo Music, YouTube for video, and so on. However, look at the Openverse. This is the new repository. Um, it looks for both images and audio at the moment, and that's quite fun. So let's use that one to start with. We will put in our search criteria. And make sure that we have selected Openverse and click on search. And here are the results. The images, 3,400 odd, audio, two audios, and then it's put together in an attractive grid. But you can also say which particular uh, license you are looking for. So I want just the main open ones. I've gone for public domain, CC0, CC BY. All right. And now here is the filtered lists. We can say this photo here looks good. And if you scroll down, you can see who it should be attributed to. South Africa, the good news. We can see the license, CC BY. And uh, we can also uh, click on get this image to look at it in its original repository. And in this case, we can see it is Flickr. All right. uh, if we go back to our search portal, we can look for other things. For example, we could say, let's find a piece uh, of music. And I'm just going to go for uh, a piece of music called work. And I would say search. It's found a few pieces here. Uh, there's a band called Three Vol Sound System, which has a song called Work. Here it is here. So this is No way! No way. Yo, kitty! Uh, and you can also do 3D models. So let's have a look at Sketchfab. Uh, in this case, I want to look for something with an Africa theme. And we've got a number of uh, artifacts which are built as 3D models. We'll look at this example of an African elephant. You can see it's rendering. And the nice thing is it's a 3D model, so you can turn them around and look at them from all different angles. So if for uh, any of your lecturers, uh, any of your academic staff or students are looking for 3D models which they can manipulate further, here is another place. 